Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, unboxing and overview for the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable. It's a device that you can capture your PC gameplay, your console gameplay in full 1080p. It's a very easy device, you get very good quality with it, and it's at not terrible of a price, about $150 depending on where you get it. It does have a built-in SD card feature in which you can record right to an SD card and not having to have a computer. So it's portable, you can bring it to a friend's house and record your gameplay. You can also use the device to live stream online, especially through like Twitch TV and all that. So it works really well if you're interested in live streaming as well as capturing your gameplay. So that's a quick little about the product, so let's open it up now. Let's go. Alright, so as you open up the packaging here, uh, right here, here's the Avermedia device. You can see it's very small and very compact. To give you a reference on how small this device really is, I have a dollar, a US American dollar here. You can see it's smaller than a dollar bill. So you can really easily fit it up in your pocket and you can carry it around. Let's finish on getting everything else out of here. Lift up the top. Uh, so included, you get a free, uh, I guess you could say trial to XSplit. It's a way to live stream your gaming. You get a free three month pass here. You can get a code on there as well. Keep digging in here. Keep opening up the box here. Get all of your cables. It's kind of clear it's out of the way. Alright, so, uh, right up on top here, you get a very nice little protective case. Uh, it's a nice protective case, it's zipper, it's being carried around. Again, the main premise of this device is that it is portable. Also included, you get an HDMI cable, albeit a very small HDMI cable. I would say it's probably about a foot long at most. It's also included an AV cable for your PlayStation uh, console. So you can record with your PlayStation console as well. It comes with the AV cable uh, included. You're also given your SD cable to power the device and to plug it into your computer. You can see it's a normal USB cable here, and that is again included. You are given your audio cable. Uh, this is a stereo audio cable so that you can do the input uh, from your computer and then have it output to your normal headset or whatever. So again, it works really well. You don't have to use HDMI as your audio. And finally, for your Xbox connection, you have your component cables to the device. Again, that'll cover all of your video and audio. And again, this is for the Xbox. So you are giving your cables for the Xbox, the PlayStation, and then you're also given the HDMI cable if you want to do it with your computer. At the very bottom of the case here, you get a little notice here that this is where you can get uh, the recording central, that's what you use to record the program, as well as uh, the latest drivers and all that. Uh, you can find that all on their website and it gives you that on this little sheet of paper. And finally you get the manual here. Uh, this is how to hook up everything and don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So as we look at the device itself, let's look at the ports that are on here. Uh, here you have your AV in, uh, if you're, again if you're using a PlayStation, that's where you, you can plug that in. You have your HDMI in and your HDMI out. Uh, that can be for your PC or I guess it could be for your Xbox as well. It's uh, your HDMI in from your console and HDMI out and that goes to uh, your monitor if you're using a computer or to your television if you're using the Xbox. Then you have your audio in and out. Uh, that way you can use your audio, you can use your headsets normally, like you would uh, normally gaming. On the one side here you can see your SD card slot. Uh, that is where you can put in the SD card. It is a normal SD um, card slot. Uh, that is where you can plug in the SD card to record on the portable. Uh, so you don't have to have a computer to record with this device. However, you can only record in 720p uh, in portable. And you would take any of your uh, normal SD cards and just plug that in there. Uh, and then it sits in there, it's really nice, it's not going to fall out. And if you want to get it back out, you just simply push back in, pull it out. 
On the other side here, this is where you can see your USB port. Uh, this is where you're going to plug it into your computer if you're going to be recording with your computer. Uh, in that case, you can record in full 1080p at 60 frames per second. And finally, on uh, the left side here, here's where you can choose if you want to use it on your computer or if you want to record with uh, your just on the portable, the device itself. So either it'll record to the SD card slot or it will record to the computer using the USB slot here. And one final thing uh, about this device, on the top it is a button that you can click to record. So it's instantaneous recording which is a click of a button so you don't have to do anything in the program itself. You can record right from the device itself. Makes it super easy, makes it super easy to do. Alright, so that's all about the product itself. Uh, so now let's uh, show you how to hook it up. Alright, so first we're going to show you how to hook it up to your PC. So here I have the device. So first you're going to take your USB cable that you were given. You're going to plug it in here. And then you're going to plug the USB in obviously into your computer. Now in order for to really do this through uh, your computer, uh, your computer is going to have to have an HDMI out. So in this case I have this HDMI cable. It is coming from the graphics card on my computer. In this case I have the GTX 670 by NVIDIA. The HDMI cable is coming from uh, my computer. And I'm going to plug that into the HDMI in port. So when I have that plugged into HDMI in, that is coming from my PC. So now I'm going to take the HDMI cable that was provided by the device. I'm going to plug the one end into the HDMI out. And now that is going to plug into my monitor here. So we're going to do some cable management here. Now you don't have to use the cable that is provided. In my case, it is way too short for me. So I'm going to take my uh, old HDMI cable here. It works exactly the same. You don't have to use the one provided. I'm going to plug that into the HDMI out. And then you're going to plug the other end into your computer monitor. So again, this requires that your computer monitor also have an HDMI port. So now we've plugged the device into my computer. You can see now it's starting to turn on here. It's starting to recognize that it's plugged in. Now in order to make sure you get everything working fine, you're going to have to go uh, to the website that they give you. It's the gamerzone.avermedia.com. That's where we're going to get everything to make sure that your product can work properly. So you're going to go to the website that they link you to. You're going to click up here where it says support and you're going to go down to download. And then you're going to see down here uh, the application and driver. That's what you're going to want to download. So right here, click on download. And that will download and that depends on your internet connection how fast you will get it. You can see now I have everything plugged in. Turn the monitor on here. Wait for it. And bam, there we go. So you can see now it's connecting to uh, through the device. So it's using the device as a path through. So it's coming from my computer, going through the device, and then coming to the monitor here. And just like that, uh, it should be working and ready to record. Again, you can record in the full 1080p using um, this device if you're plugged into the computer. And as you're plugged into the computer here, you should see uh, it's using the device. You can see it's listing. Um, it's going through the path through as the Avermedia HD. And you can see my resolution here is 1920 by 1080. All right. So now that only takes care of the video portion of our computer. Remember, we still need to record the audio. So you're going to use the uh, built-in audio cable here. So now on the device where it says audio in, you're going to plug in the cable. And now that cord is going to plug into your computer. Uh, so in that case, your motherboard, or if you have a sound card for some weird reason, uh, you can plug that into your sound card. And now if you have speakers or you have a headset, you're now going to take the audio cable from that. So you can see we have the audio cable that is coming from my motherboard and plugging into the audio in. So now if you have a headset or you have speakers or something like that, 
you're going to take the audio cable from there, it should be a green cable, uh, that'll be my speakers. I'm going to then plug that into the HD audio out. And now it's going to take the audio from my computer, it's going to go into the device, it's going to be able to record it, and then it will send it out uh, back to my speakers and my headset. And so that is how you record the video and the audio using the Avermedia uh, Live Gamer Portable using your computer.